Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW or the new Weight Watchers program and I count calories and macros. Today I'm here to share with you the brand new and very, very exciting in my humble opinion, backtrack to one of the old new Weight Watchers programs. I know that sounds confusing, but I'm going to go over all of the details of the new program with you. I'm going to pop some images up on the screen for you. We're going to talk about zero point foods, why this change happened, and I'm going to spill all the tea on the new WW program. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every week and I'll be doing more and more videos relating to the new program as it progresses. Also check out the description box for nutrition coaching, I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. That is how I've lost over 130 pounds. Highly, highly recommend. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And of course, my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's get into all about the new Weight Watchers program. in the beginning, this change or this backtracking of the Weight Watchers program is music to my ears. I was really excited about Personal Points when it was released last year. Normally, Weight Watchers changes their program every two years, but this year, it only lasted a year before they decided to make these changes. There were a lot of people that weren't having success with the Personal Points program. It was overwhelming. It was hard for them to figure out what is their zero point foods versus their friend's zero point foods. There was a loss of community, like I mentioned in the video I did prior to the release of this new program. I'll link that video for you if you haven't seen it. And there was just a lot of negative feedback from us to Weight Watchers regarding personal points. So they decided to basically backtrack a little bit back to what was the blue plan before switching over to personal points. Now this new program is very similar to the blue plan with a few tweaks. So the reason besides the loss of community, the confusion, the loss of business, there were a lot of people that quit Weight Watchers on personal points. I think they lost a lot of money and a lot of business. And so they kind of went back to the drawing board. And when I attended a virtual workshop, she brought up three things that I thought was really important that I wanted to share with you. And she said that three of the main reasons that they decided to go away from personal points and back to what is now known as the Weight Watchers program, that is what this is called, was they wanted this program to be effective, livable, and flexible. And I thought those were three really great words to describe why they made this change. Like I mentioned, it is called the Weight Watchers program now. If you are an online only member, it is called Core, but essentially it's the same program. They wanted to simplify things, go back to basics. They wanted to keep it simple by making this change as well. Like I mentioned, personal points was overwhelming for a lot of people. It just was hard to adapt. It was really hard for us as content creators, recipe bloggers to share recipes because the points varied between me and you. So the points that I would share on my videos weren't necessarily your points. And that's where that little bit of sense of community kind of dissipated and was lost. And that's coming right back with this new program, which makes me really excited. So a couple of major changes is we no longer can earn points back from eating our vegetables or drinking our water. And like I mentioned in the previous video that I did, I don't see anything wrong with not earning points back for eating vegetables because as a weight loss and nutrition coach, we shouldn't get food for eating food. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't lend itself to a healthy relationship with food. However, I'm a little disappointed about the water, but on the flip side, it was one point. It was one point for drinking your water. And let's be honest, we should be drinking our water whether we earn a point or not. So that piece of personal points is gone. However, you can still track your water in the app. So I'm glad that they kept that as an option for us where you, we can still track how much water we're drinking. We just don't earn back a point. Your points that you're given when you transition over to Weight Watchers program, 
are going to be, again, tailored towards you. Nothing's changing in the calculation of what points you're given. It's based on your age, your weight, your sex, your activity level. So the calculation for the points that you're going to receive daily doesn't change. It's still personalized to you. What I was also very excited to hear is that we still are allowed rollover. So we can roll over up to four points every day that you can save up for special occasions or you can use for the weekend. I highly, highly recommend eating all of your rollover points. You should be eating all of your dailies all of your weeklies and all of your rollovers. Speaking of weeklies, we still have weekly points, which is also very exciting because it's important that, like I said, we eat every point Weight Watchers gives us. They wouldn't give us points if we weren't supposed to eat them. So make sure again that you're eating your dailies, your rollovers, your activity points, and even your weeklies. That's going to help ensure that you'll get a little bit closer to a healthy calorie deficit for weight loss. All of the foods that are not zero points, that were not zero points on personal points, are remaining the same. So your favorite bag of popcorn or your favorite yogurt, the points of those are going to remain the same. However, I did notice that avocados actually went down in points. So there may be other foods as we navigate this program, as we start tracking foods that actually decreased in points, but we shouldn't see any pointed foods go up in points value. However, when I updated my app this morning, I actually have five more daily points than I had on personal points. And I also have some additional weekly points. So they did compensate us with additional points for taking away some of the zero point foods. So let's talk a little bit about the zero point foods on the new Weight Watchers program. I'm going to go ahead and pop the list up here. So there is a general zero point food list that includes non-starchy vegetables, fruit, eggs, yogurt and cottage cheese, plain non-fat only, fish and shellfish, chicken and turkey breast, beans, peas and lentils, tofu and tempa, corn and popcorn. So there are a couple of extra goodies on the zero points food list that weren't here on the blue plan. That's why I said this isn't exactly the blue plan, but it's pretty similar. So we now have the option to eat fat-free cottage cheese for zero points, as well as popcorn for zero points. Now this is air popped popcorn with no oil. This is none of the microwave popcorn options. Those are all still going to have points. All of the popcorn you buy in bags like Skinny Pop and Boom Chicka Pop, all of that is still going to have points, but this is air popped popcorn is zero points. One of the questions I saw a lot in the comment section of my other video I did before the new plan was released was what about the diabetic plan? I'm a diabetic, I'm borderline diabetic. I prefer to follow the diabetic plan. The good news is, is the diabetic plan is still here. Now your zero point food list is going to be modified a little bit if you choose to follow the diabetic plan. So your tailored zero point foods for the diabetic plan are not non-starchy vegetables, eggs, fish and shellfish, chicken and turkey breast, beans, peas, and lentils, tofu, and tempa. So you're not seeing things on this list like fruit because some diabetics have to watch their fruit intake. So fruit is actually going to have points for you on the diabetic plan. A little more on the diabetic plan. What I also really appreciate is that you have the option to flip back and forth. So maybe you wanna try out the diabetic plan, you try it out, you don't love it, you can switch back to the traditional plan or vice versa. You can start on the traditional plan and flip over to the diabetic plan. The diabetic plan is really going to be a lower carb version of WW. So if you're someone that wants to follow a little bit lower carb, or again, if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you have the option to follow the the diabetic plan. There also is no assessment any longer on the app. So new members, existing members, there's no longer an assessment. But like I said, you can flip back and forth between the traditional program and the diabetic program in your app. Speaking of the app, let me pop up some images of what showed this morning when I updated my app. Side note, you probably need to update your app. When I first logged into the WW app this morning, it was the old points, it was the old program. So I actually had to go into my app store and update my app to get it to flip over to the new program. Also, another side note is with this new program, you have the option to remain on personal points through December 11th. So you can actually switch over to the Weight Watchers program anytime you want between now and December 11th. If you are a personal points lover, you can stay on that plan up to December 11th. And then as of the 11th, all of the apps will be updated and rolled over into the new Weight Watchers program. So that is the only program that will be offered on the Weight Watchers app as of December 
12th. So you won't be able to do personal points or any of the old programs once it transitions over. So when I logged into my app, the first thing I saw is daily points will no longer be added by tracking water or non-starchy vegetables. This is less tracking. This lets you focus on tracking foods that have the highest impact on weight loss, those with points. Weekly budget. Points are still added to your weeklies. Adjust to to your tracked activity level. Points will be added to our weeklies based on our activity. The next screen I saw said the zero point foods list is the same for everyone now. We've removed the customizable zero points foods list. Now all members will have the same list which makes sharing recipes and tips easier. Going back to bringing back the community which is really really important and one of the main drawing factors to the Weight Watchers plan. And then I saw the screen that said life is complicated, losing weight shouldn't be. These changes result in a simpler, more livable program designed for your success. Get started anytime until December 11th. Note that it may take a few minutes for the changes to load. And then you see the little blue bar at the bottom that says start now or remind me later. If you want to stay on personal points, click on remind me later. If you want to start now, click on start now. Spoiler alert, I started now. So it's going to walk you through everything when you sign into the app. You may need to close out of your app and reopen it or refresh it for the changes to take place, but mine took place immediately and I was able to see my new daily points target, my new weekly point, and all the water and vegetable tracking for earning points back was removed from the app. One last thing I wanted to share with you guys regarding the new Weight Watchers program is the blue dot is still there. Now I have my feelings about the blue dot, but for those of you that love the blue dot and like to get your blue dot every day, that is still going to be a feature of the app. You can attend a virtual workshop. They've been having them about every half of an hour going over the new plan if you have some additional questions. But I wanted to make sure that I put out a video, walked you through the new plan, shared with you the new zero points list, and honestly shared with you my excitement about this change. I feel like this is the best change that Weight Watchers could have made when it comes to their program. I'm so excited that I can share accurate points in all of my recipes. I will no longer have the link on my recipe website. I'll just put the points because they're the same for all of us. I'm really happy that the sense of community is coming back and that it's been simplified. I know that personal points was overwhelming for a lot of you and I'm really happy that they went back to basics and kept it simple for us, which simple is sustainable and sustainable weight loss is long-term weight loss. So we want to be able to do something that's simple, easy to follow, sustainable, and leads to results. And that's exactly what the new Weight Watchers program does. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts thoughts on the change. Leave any additional questions that you have. I will do my best to answer them. If you have specific questions, as a reminder, I am not affiliated with WW. I do not work for WW. If you have any specific questions, I would recommend getting on your app and chatting with someone in the Weight Watchers realm that can answer your more specific questions, but you can leave anything that you have down in the comments. I will have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you down in that description box. Happy new Weight Watchers program day. I'm excited about the new program. I can't wait to see all of your incredible results and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.